Hey everyone and welcome to the first actual tutorial in this kinetic typography course. In this tutorial we're going to be learning how to make this very first scene which includes a scale animation and a series of cut animations. In this scene we're going to learn how to do a scale animation and use cuts within kinetic typography. Now this is the first time we are in After Effects and a couple notes about that. First, I am using Creative Cloud version of After Effects. That being said, you can use really any version you have. If you have CS6, CS5, whatever version, all of the techniques that I'm going to be teaching you in this course can be done in any version of After Effects. The second thing is that I'm recording this in HD on my 27 inch iMac. And so it would be beneficial for you to view it in HD and full screen on a desktop computer. Now I know all of you won't have giant monitors and some of you might even be watching this on a mobile device or tablet, which is possible, but for best viewing experience, watch it on, on a desktop computer in HD. Okay, that all being said, let's get straight to this very first scene. So what I'm going to do in After Effects is when you start out, what you wanna do is click this new composition button down here. You can name this first comp scene one. The preset I'm going to use is, is HDTV 1080 2997. The width is 1920 by 1080 pixels. The frame rate is 2997. And for the duration here, leave the start time cone at zero. And the end duration is going to be five seconds. Background color just leave at black. So when you're done with that, click OK and your new scene opens up. I have my audio that I recorded and I'm going to take that and drag it onto my timeline down here. What I'm going to do next is press LL on my keyboard twice. What that does is bring up the waveforms of my audio so that I can see where I am actually saying my words. Now in this audio clip I recorded this saying twice so what I'm going to do is just drag this to the left until my second recording begins. So I know this is where my second recording begins and I can either play through it with audio by pressing the space bar on in the Creative Cloud version or going up here and doing a RAM preview if you are using a previous version. That's in the preview window that you can see if you go up to window preview and there should be a RAM preview button if you are in a previous version of After Effects. Another thing you can do is press command if you are using a Mac or control if you are using a PC and drag this current time indicator, scrub it through your clip right here. And you will actually even be able to hear the audio from your timeline if you are holding down command or control and scrubbing through it. So I know this is the first part of my dialogue where I say, hello, my name is Phil Ebener. And so I can just play through it and then close down my work area to something like that. And then what I'm going to do is going to go to composition, trim comp to work area. And that trims this work area or this whole composition to the amount of time that it takes to say this first few lines. Okay, so the second thing that we need to do is start typing out our text. So you're going to need to choose a font that you like and you could choose really anything that you want. I like this font called League Spartan that you can download from the theleagueofmovabletype.com. If you search for League Spartan on Google, you can find it. And I typically use all caps. So I'm just going to type out my words one layer at a time. So I'm going to take my text tool, click and say, hello. And then what I will do is select this hello layer. I will duplicate it pressing command D on my keyboard, control D if you're on a Windows. So if I ever say command D, just know that on a PC you would press control instead of command. Then I know that the next text is going to need to be smaller. So I say, hello, my name is Phil Ebner. So what I'll do is select the second text layer and drop down the size to something like 200 pixels. And then what I can do is take my selection tool, move it just so I can see it. And I'll just say 
my, so I just double click and change the text. I go back down here, duplicate, double click this layer, name, type in name, click again down here on name, duplicate, double click, is, click is, duplicate, command D, type in my first name, duplicate again, Ebener. Now what I have to do is using my selection tool is move these this text around. Now the first thing is that the my the hello text disappears. So what I'm going to do is just move the all these layers from my to Ebener. My name is Phil Ebener and I'm going to move these over to the right because after this waveform right here you see this bump this is where I say hello. Hello is going to disappear. And hello is going to go right in the middle of the screen. How do we get it in the middle of the screen? Well, open up your align window. If you go to, to window and align, you have this align window. And click the horizontal center and vertical center. And that puts your text or whatever layer you're choosing directly in the middle. Then what I'm going to do is cut this hello text right here at the start of where I say my. What I can do to cut is press option, right bracket. If you're on a PC, that's alt, right bracket. And so now the hello text is cut. And so that's the first type of reveal or edit we're going to be learning how to do with kinetic typography is just a simple cut. And so I can see down here my waveforms or I can play through it or scrub through it holding command and scrubbing. And what I'm going to do is just line up my text. So I can see that this is where my starts. This is where name starts. If I just play through it again. And here's where Phil Ebner starts. Before I start moving these this text around too much, one thing I like to use is the proportional grid. So click on this proportional grid down here and that opens up this so that you can kind of align your text, make sure that it's centered or on the same line. You can also use rulers and the regular grid if you want. So I'm just going to line this text. So my name is, so start something like here. Another thing you can use to align different layers is if I select these three text layers and I use my align panel right here and say align, it will make it all aligned. So see if I put this like so, so it's not aligned and then say aligned, it will align it. So that's a good trick to use if you are doing kinetic typography. So then I'm going to make fill a lot bigger. So let's say like 350. And then Ebener was a lot smaller. But one thing about kinetic typography and just design in general that I like to do, I'm going to take off this proportional grid, is I like to make the spacing between all of my words similar. So you see the spacing between my and name and name and is and my and fill. I want that spacing to be similar. It just looks prettier in my eyes. And so I will now select all of them and put them pretty much centered. Now it doesn't have to be necessarily centered perfectly because in our sample video, you'll see that there is actually some motion that we'll be adding at the very end. So there's a little bit of motion. And so if it's not perfectly centered, that's totally fine. Okay, so now if we play through this, we can see that it's the text is being cut onto the screen in a good timing. The one thing that we want to do now is add the scale animation to hello. So scale animations is a very popular way, way to reveal text and also any type of layer. And so the first thing that we want to do is make sure that our anchor point is in the center of this hello text. I've downloaded and I use a script called Move Anchor Point. If you go to Google and search for Move Anchor Point After Effects, you will find a script that you can install. And what this allows you to do is with the click of the button, it moves the anchor point to the middle of your layer. 
You can move it to the right, to the or to the left, to the right, to the top, wherever you want. If you don't want to install that, what you can do is use this pan behind tool up there and then click on the anchor point and move it around. With After Effects CC, it kind of snaps to the center, so it's a lot better than in previous versions. And the reason why we want to do that is because when we bring up our scale, so press with this hello text selected, press S on your keyboard, we want to scale from the middle. We don't want to scale, say I put it up in the top right, we don't want to scale from the top right. Sometimes you might want to do that, but for now, we want to scale from the middle. So about right when hello is starting to be said, I'm going to set a keyframe for the scale, which is clicking the stopwatch right here. And then I'm going to go back five or so frames and drop this down to 100. So now if I play through this, you see hello come on the screen. But I'm going to do two things to make it look even better. I'm going to select both keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant and click easy ease. So that eases this animation and it creates a more fluid motion. It's still so fast so you can't really tell much. So that helps a little bit. I'm also going to add motion blur. So that's this column right here with the three circles. Click that motion blur right there and then enable that motion blur right here. Click that motion blur. So that's pretty cool, but the one thing I want to add too is I want it to kind of bounce onto the screen. Right now it's going directly from 0% scale to 100% scale. I want it to go from 0 to about 110 and then drop down to 100. An easy way to do that is to select our keyframes, and they must be easy ease to do this. Select your keyframes, click this graph editor, Make sure that you are viewing the value graph and not the speed graph, which you get to by clicking this choose graph type button and selecting value graph. Just going to zoom in, I'm pressing the plus and minus keys on my keyboard. And now you see this graph, it goes from zero to 100%. This is the scale. If I click on this red square right here, that's where our keyframe is, you see these yellow handles. If I drag this handle up, you will see that I'm able to actually increase the size so it goes from zero to something like 110 and then back down to 100%. So now if I play through this, you see a little bounce and it just makes it a little more dynamic. So I'm going to click that graph editor so I can see my regular timeline, stretch it out, play through it again That's pretty cool, you know, so it's very basic. It's just using cuts and scale animations, but that again is the building block of kinetic, complex kinetic typography videos. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and start practicing this technique and then we'll move on to the second scene, which is this one where we'll be learning how to use position animations to create kinetic typography in the next video. See you then.